I'm really lucky because I get to uh, spend a lot of my time with people who are trying to effect change. And um, last week at Mass Challenge, I, I ran a dinner and we had some of our partners sitting around the table and a couple of our startups. And this analogy of the ship came up again. And so the purpose of the dinner was to talk about um, what everybody's innovation objectives were and what they felt their obstacles and barriers were. And then to hear from a couple of the startups about how they deal with it in their world. The startup actually came up with the analogy and he said that he felt that large organizations were like these large ships, um, you know, moving their way across the ocean, trying to avoid icebergs. And that down below them in the sea were smaller boats, much smaller boats, and they were typically made up of innovators, um, either been sent out from the large ship or kind of their own startups themselves. And if we're bootstrapping, then it's a dinghy and they're paddling away and or, uh, you know, at the slightly later stage, it's a two berth, there's a small five man team and it's not quite so rocky. And then he sort of felt that those were a bit more stable and that were ready to scale with the tugboats. He cited kind of the dream scenario that the tugboat was actually attached to the large ship, kind of helping take it across the water. So the tugboat's purpose was to try to add some pace and velocity, um, some direction to help steer it in the right direction. But the ship and the ship's purpose was to help ride those big waves because if a storm came, the small boat was going to topple over. The large boat has got all the resources so it can send out to support where it needs it. But ultimately, the startup decided it felt that success was the two moving together in one direction. So we sort of wrestled around with this a little bit, and it got me thinking after, and I thought, okay, well, in this in this scenario, uh, the large ship is relying on everything that's down there to send information back up about what's going on so that they can either avoid icebergs or ideally be transported to this desert island with a magic box of tricks and, and then they can bring the, those back onto the ship and, and play with those. But what if the large ship could see for itself? What if it, and work with what's going on outside, what if it uh, installed a glass bottom? Or what if it had some technology or a camera to kind of look outside and just see how the seabed was changing and look up above water to see how the conditions were changing and see how other large ships are anchoring differently or moving around. Um, they might even want to send a submarine out. So they've actually got something that's completely detached that's going off and, and swimming around in this world and coming back in and bringing resources in. It came from the challenge that startups want large organizations to maintain the status quo so that they can be the ones that are innovating. Now, in this scenario, the startups could be innovation teams, it could be departments, it doesn't have to be entrepreneurs in the outside world. 